here is this project just I told you before this uh, circuit demonstration I just give it on my webs uh, on my channel and uh, you saw this is a ignition circuit this is an ignition circuit and it works very well for ignition uh, we will make a complete system using this housing as this is for the old torch I give a review on this one as well um, here we are going to start here is the starting point we just created one uh, um, bridge rectifier here you can see and here is one diode which had been come off of the same power supply this is the transformer output will be some way 5 volt or something like that and here is the input which is 220 volt here uh, 220 to 40 volt something like that and then uh, what we are going to do is we will pay, uh, we will put this circuit in uh, for this we make some holes here we um, made some holes two holes are here you can see and two holes here you can see and one other hole is over here this is for the led indicator of course we will put one led indicator over here from the inside like this so this will show this will indicate um, the charging status that the charging is going on while we will put this in 220 volt this is a green led for the indication and this diode is used for that um, here we are going to put together this all circuit uh, for this um, first what we will have to do is we should have to put this ND LED indicator here is the negative and we put one resistor 2 kilo ohm resistor in series of this one and here is the neg uh, negative side uh, positive side sorry and here is the negative side uh, what we will do is we will be putting this inside something like that and just with the help of a small screwdriver we have to push it in so that it will be pushed in completely in this housing so it came here you can see and uh, then mm, we will solder and what we will do is we will be soldering this circuit here this positive will go to the one end of the transformer wire and the other uh, negative wire we will connect it to the uh, diode here this single diode which we put it in for this purpose this was already there in the previous video you saw this power supply the review I have already been given and here this one we will solder this other leg of the LED positive to the output of the transformer uh, here we will solder it using our soldering iron I'm going to melt a little bit solder on here and here of course to connect this LED to the transformer output this will not come after the bridge rectifier because if it will come after this bridge rectifier so the LED will be light all the time uh, by the battery so this is what is not needed we, will, we are going to make it light when it is connected to the power source 220 volt mm, here we will cut it we will cut it off a little bit this diode leg so that it will not come in the way So something like that sorry my cutter is not here in my hand i'll bring it anyhow okay so the led status indicator is okay now we are going to put this circuit in but first we will be removing this switch connections because uh, this switch we will put it from the outside in i will show you in a little while I just will clean this uh, these legs for this switch so that it will be easily going in Oh, sorry this I just <laughs> put it in potentially I just throw it because I was about to remove all the solder from the leg something like that so now it's almost cleaned and here we are going to make them straight the legs and then it will be easy to go in so something like that and then remove the remaining solder from this housing and we'll put it from here to inside something like that so this switch will be embedded on the side something like that and here we will connect it the wires we will connect it inside now we will straight up these two high voltage leads and put them in the housing something like that We will pass these leads uh, through the housing 
and they will come off of the housing something like that and then we'll solder uh, the switch legs these were switch wires sorry uh, to the yeah these wires to the switch legs we will put a little bit solder on the connections so they will be soldered easily then to prepare it for soldering we will put some fresh solder in so one had been soldered the other one we will be soldering so sorry for inconvenience here so the other one had been soldered as well now what we will be doing is we will keep this battery inside over here and this circuit as yes, everything is going on perfect now you can see now two wires we will put them on the battery from this bridge rectifier so here are the two wires I will just introduce them uh, one for the negative one for the positive this negative wire I am introducing the other side also I have to solder okay so here this uh, negative of the bridge rectifier is here downside and this is very typical bridge rectifier construction as you can see just I created this bridge rectifier so this is soldered now the positive wire we will connect it over here and then other side of course we will tin it a little bit for ease of the work okay so here it will be connected to the battery positive care is required not to short circuit anything anyhow this is basics these are the basics which is not needed to be explained every time here I will connect it again to the negative so this has been connected now is the time to test this circuit everything is in sorry this negative wire come here come off it's not perfectly soldered we will solder it perfectly this is what is normally is the case while we are working we are talking so such situations are okay now these are soldered perfectly and we will keep them uh, a little sequence this uh, USB charging we are not using instead we are using this transformer to charge this circuit because this is already there in our circuit in our design it is like that okay so we are going to create a spark or an arc using this circuit so we will test it so let let me test so here you can see yeah it is creating you are listening to the spark as well and of course what I will do is I will grab this piece of paper and will burn it so that you will understand yeah now you can see this is burning and smoke is there so now the circuit is working it is perfect okay we will put everything together so this covering we will just close it as it was and then we will press it on so everything will be pressed in and then the screw we will put it on and we'll tighten it using a small Phillips screwdriver. So somewhere like this. Now is the time to test the circuit again. So let us see. Yeah, it works. And now is the time to test the charging. So for the charging, we will put this in 220 volt and let us see this indicator. So the indicator is glowing as you can see this is blue green sorry so the green indicator is coming and while I'm removing it from the power it's going off again this green LED is coming here so this green indication is there this is daytime actually where I'm testing so it is and while I'm removing it from the power it is going off something like that as you can see so this system will sure work hopefully for my purpose as uh, I used it for the I'm using it for the gas burning I will show you in a little while so now here I'm in my kitchen and I'm going to show you how we are using this for the gas burners 
before we were using these the match boxes for this purpose every time one match we were burning uh, to blow this burner but now no more we will be using our gadget to do this job so here we are going to switch on the gas and then something like that let us see again open the sorry so do it again open the gas first and give a spark it will be something like that if we open it if you open it a little more it will be easy to burn so something like that so it is now we will be using this handy device to do this job instead of using that matchbox so it is easy it is cheap it is low cost and it is durable thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned subscribe and like